Over the course of this section, we are going to learn how we can create a custom weapon within our project. Over the course of the section, we're going to first look at obtaining a weapon model for us to put into the game. We're then going to set up the mesh for our usage. We're going to create the unit bank so that we can shoot it. Then we're going to go through the process of making the weapon itself and then customize the properties to make it work exactly the way that we want it to. And the first concept we want to talk about is obtaining that weapon model itself. So over the course of the video, we're going to take a little bit of a look at UFPS's weapons documentation. We're going to access the Unity Asset Store. We're going to search for models for us to use. And then we're going to download and import a Unity package into our project. So with that, let's get started. Before we can actually implement the weapon itself into the game, the first thing that we need to do is obtain a model for us to work with. Now, of course, if you're artistically bent, you could always create a model yourself, but that requires knowledge of a 3D modeling package such as Blender, Maya, or 3ds Max, which we don't have enough time to do over the course of this course. So instead, we're going to use a package from the Asset Store instead. If you do decide to create a weapons model yourself, I highly suggest that you go to Opsiv's website, which is the company that owns UFPS currently, and in the documentation itself, there is a section that's all about creating weapons. You can see that by going here and selecting weapons, and it gives you information on how to build it and position it in your art package. The first thing that we're going to need to do is open up the Asset Store, which we can do by going to Window and then selecting Asset Store from the menu. Now again, we can make the Asset Store larger by right-clicking on the tab and selecting Maximize. And once it finishes loading up, you'll see a number of different options for us to work with. I'm currently logged in, uh, but if you want to, you can go to the top right and log in to your account there. Now, in our case, we want a gun model, so I'm going to go 3D model section, open it up, go to props, and open it up, and then from there, open up weapons, and then finally select guns. This is a way for us to limit the scope of what it is that we're looking for. If you scroll down, you'll notice that there are a lot of guns that are available for us to work with. If you want to go free, you can sort by price, and there's a number of options that we have here. Now, this Quartz Quarters Assault Rifle that Paul Blackham made, I really like. So I'm going to go into the page here, and you'll see that there is a download button. And I can go ahead and click on that, and we can download and bring this model into our project. So I'm going to click on Download. So once it finishes, notice that I have all of the objects used to create the rifle, including the FBX file, which is the model, and the materials and PSGs, which are the data on how to draw it. I'm going to click Import, and that's going to bring it into our project. I'm going to right-click and bring that back out again, and you'll notice in the project window, we now have the assault rifle ready to be used.